Ellie, go ahead. Let's hook them up. Heather. I, I, I got up. you. Oh, you gonna hook yourself? That's Heather B right there. You don't even Heather got a mix to drink. I got you. Cool. Ice man. Ice. Hey, hey, good uh, to meet you. Ice, please. Good to meet you. You too, man. Pleasure. This, this is surreal. A word? Okay, cool, man. Now you're from Connecticut originally, mm -hmm. and then you moved to uh, Cali. Um, or how'd it go? Give me the history, Felly. So yeah, I was born in Connecticut, mm -hmm. um, grew up there, and then went to school in L.A. Went to USC. You went to USC, USC? studied music there. Uh huh. The Trojan. Yes, sir. What was, what was college? Uh, the college experience like for you? I know I'm going back, but we. we get um, no, it was cool. I yeah. mean, I didn't like the school part, but I was like touring throughout school. Uh huh. Um, and that's where I met a bunch of amazing kids. Some of them here with me right now. Who are, uh, the, who are the amazing kids? My boy oh, Gypsy Burns, Saw Murder. That's um, Gypsy Burns, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh right there? You know what What's up, man? Yeah, they, they all, they one of them studied jazz bass, one of them studied drums. Um, I studied music industry, and we all just kind of put together a bunch of plays, and I met some people there who did, you know, content and whatever, so. How long ago was this? Um... I graduated to 2017, so 27, no, that long five, ago. six years ago. Five years ago. God damn, you said five years ago. You said 2017. And <laughs> what the hell they teaching y'all at USC, man? <laughs> no, that, that's why I entered. I was there, I entered there. Oh, 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 okay, okay. That's why I came in. Okay. Um, yeah, man. Um, what, and you play, too. You play instruments, right? Or yeah, I, I'm trying to, you know, involve that more in my career because yeah. I see that as, like, longevity. Uh -huh. uh, I hope to be playing arenas with a guitar one day because uh -huh. I, I love rapping and i love hip-hop um but i i see myself when i envision it it's it's got a guitar in, in my hands so oh, yeah you know um trying to think of who was some of the first i mean you know guitar instruments and hip-hop in early early days always still was went together mm -hmm. you know even though we started using the drum sequencers and the, uh, the sequential and the SB 1200s and MP3s and all of those things. Um, a lot of folks were playing instruments already, so I consider the guitar, mm -hmm. the keyboard, yeah. you know, the drums, all a part of. Um, well, when we when we produce, we we've been using those instruments uh -huh. forever. Um, yeah, even coming in five six years ago when I was on machine and MPCs and stuff, I would still sample me playing instruments. But now I'm just taking more of a songwriter approach and trying to create a whole song from. The from instrument. scratch, from the instrument, yeah. rather than just like getting sent beats and writing all the time, because I, I I did that for a while. Um, and that's also uh, that saved you cost on on publishing, <laughs> you know, getting yeah. clearances and stuff. What was the first project you put out ever? Yeah, uh, it was called Restless, and I was in ninth grade. Okay. And wow, how did you get it out in the ninth grade? I put it out on Bandcamp. Oh, Bandcamp! Uh, Please don't go check that out. Oh like, my that's, god, don't, that's not Band my like. Camp. I'm not like holding that one strong, but um, the kids still come to the shows and they're like, "Yo, Restless is that's the true you, man." I'm mm -hmm. like, "All right, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, they, that's what they say." It's something like, "Yeah, what'd you say?" Uh, no, I'm listening to you. Oh yeah, no, it was just uh, it was cool though because I was on like sampled beats and stuff, and you didn't have to worry about all this like clearances or nothing like that. You can mm -hmm. just. And it was like very just like an innocent mm -hmm. like kid learning his way, and so I was gonna pure. say with you doing that project, um, do you feel though like less pressure back then? Even though you say it's not you, because you kind of start from this innocent place. You said the word innocent, but it is innocent, and you don't really know the business at all, and you're just imagining and dreaming. So it comes from a less pressure. Y'all playing that in the back, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's we kind of curate the conversation here, fellas. That's yeah, what we do here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow, y'all are geniuses. Um, definitely. It's yeah. like, it was definitely a different vibe when you didn't think anything could happen from it. And now it's kind of crazy, because I know I'll, I'll play something on stage that, you know, now is like six million plays or something that is from those days. And I'm like, I made this when I didn't think anything, I, it would be in front of anybody. Mm -hmm. I was making it for like the girl I liked. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. did, yeah. did, how did she like it? Right. They liked it. Oh, oh, they liked it, damn. So I mean, she liked to it plural. too. I mean, I got, they, they they talked a lot of shit about me in high school. And uh, I, yeah, I had like, I had like the, the, the typical bullying experience. You got bullied in high school? Yeah, like now that I think of it, I, I got like factually bullied, like li literally thrown at lockers, like wow. shit like that. Physically bullied. Just this one dude. Fuck that dude. Yeah. But, Did uh, you well, ever yeah. learn to fight back? I, he's, he was big as hell. I was like eighty pounds in ninth grade. Yeah. Okay. But it was. I get it. Like mm -hmm. I was trying to rap, and I like, I didn't have any place doing that. 
Oh, he took you through the white shame of trying oh, to rap. The black dude? No, no, he was a white dude. He was just oh, bitter, white dude? bitter, God, fat dude. Yeah. White... Caruso from Everybody Hates Chris. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the, black, the black dudes were the ones who would like be Egg like, you on, right? Come yeah, on, no, get like, it, spit bars. Yeah. And the white guys was like, damn. Yeah, yeah. They didn't protect you though, shit. I was gonna say, he <laughs> you, some hate. you went to school with him, high school? No, high school. Oh, okay. No, oh, they're okay. from they're from LA. From college. I, I, yeah. Okay. Where I, were y'all at during this time, man? Shit. Y'all be crew, man. Hiding. I heard you got fucked up today, yo. Let's do a song about yeah. it. Uh, did, did you go through that though, or like the whole the the race thing when come, <clears throat> coming into hip hop? Because a lot of a lot of um, traditionalists um, um, they balk at the idea of folks using hip hop to get to another platform, yeah. to get to mm-hmm. another plateau, and then turning it back on hip hop as a culture. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I get it. Um, definitely in the in the earlier days for sure. Yeah. And when I first started getting booked at colleges, there'd be some colleges that'd be like, he's. Um, appropriating the culture and stuff yeah. and like we shouldn't have them and i was like i i i heard everything and i i understand it all um and i i don't really have any comment like i just that i just make hip-hop like mm-hmm. that's what i feel that's what i gravitate towards and that's what i love so i think everything kind of appropriates everything a little bit and isn't that the goal right we trying to unite we all here together on earth so yeah as long as you give acknowledgement and credit where credit is due i you know mm-hmm. that's right Mm-hmm. Uh, you mentioned um, incorporating guitar into your performance and just like uh, uh, when you're producing your, your music. And Post Malone, you know, he played guitar with Aerosmith at the VMAs recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he's, he's also been vocal mm-hmm. about why he doesn't care about fitting hip hop into one specific sound. You know, it doesn't have to sound like this or it doesn't have to sound this way. So, what are your thoughts as far as like, you know, people categorizing hip hop based on it has to have a drum machine, it has to have you know, a sample or something versus like, nah, it can be a guy singing on it. It can be a yeah. guy playing a live instrument. I like what he's doing. I, I, I think there's there are people who give him shit because they're like, if you if you don't want to really do this hip-hop shit, get out. And he's saying, you know, there shouldn't be these regiments, you know? Um, and I agree with that. It's like, why, why try to box things? Like, it's 2018. Like, why are we still trying to box things? If he wants to do, play the acoustic guitar on stage in the middle of his set, while he just rapped or sang with auto tune with in this new hip hop fashion, um, like who's to say he can't or stop him doing that? And in my set, this tour, um, we do the hip hop shit, we do rapper DJ shit, and then I say, can we, can we play some live music? Can I bring my boys out? He comes out to the drums, he comes out to the keys, and my homie comes out to the bass. Everybody who previously rapped and opened for me, um, and so we kind of show them like. And then we do some like it's almost like British rock in some sense. Some of this other stuff it's like, like singing like whoa, like it's just like whoa. That's that's where we pull like the the rabbit out the hat during the show. Um, but I think it's cool. It's like it's fun, you know. Oh, Felly's here. Felly is here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad you're here, man, because since you you consider yourself a hip hop head. Um, to some some degree, yeah. Well, what degree, Felly? Tell me what degree. <clears throat> Um, I mean, I definitely didn't start as a hip hop head. I was more on the the rock side, and um, I think it was like Rage Against the Machine that kind of bridged that gap. And so I was like, I was into the heavier rock stuff, and then Rage was like spit like Zach De La Roca was spitting on mm-hmm. hip hop metal beats almost. Um, and then I fell in love with like Kid Cudi, Illmatic. Um, oh shit! Yeah, Cuddy, <laughs> Cuddy birthed so many people. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, you gotta love Cuddy because that was the bully days, you know. Like Cuddy was just like exactly. father, like yeah, and uh, yeah. And I didn't have a father for a little bit, so like the the hip hop influence was like kind of who raised you, kind of raised you, right? Yeah, so. yeah. We got that in common. Um, I could appreciate that. Can you appreciate a good battle? Yeah, a good rap battle. Um. I mean, I don't get not, it. Not, not I, to be in it, but you can appreciate oh, spectating, yeah. right? There. I'm not Holy about shit. to battle you, man. It's cool. He's like, you want to go sway? Yeah, I, was, I got a few bars <laughs> for you, though. You know, if y'all want to put me on one of y'all tracks. Uh, nah, no, nah, I, I need your. Um, of course, that's. Uh, I, I need your uh, your expertise here. Yo, you know, your hip hop ear. I'm gonna play you two things, and I want you to tell me which one you think is better. Okay. All right. Go ahead. What's the first one, OQ? First one is uh, Joyna Lucas, uh, Liddy Freestyle. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Joyna Lucas, the Liddy Freestyle. What's up with you R&B niggas trying to turn rappers and trappers? Joyna, Joyna. 
You should just stay in your lane, bro. You sound like a rapper to rapper. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking down on you when you talk to me. You should grab you a ladder. You swung at me on shit. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Tech Nine came up here and said yeah. Tory Lanez can't hold a flame to join a Lucas. Damn it, that was a battle rap. Give that man a round of applause right there. Shit. Game over. I'm, trying hear, I'm trying to hear the Tory one, too. Okay, you want to hear Felly's here. He got his new album, Surf Trap. It's out right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be playing music from it uh, momentarily. This dude is a streaming sensation now. He's been on four or five tours. He's been putting out music for years. The Young Fell is in here. Yes, sir. Homeless Chic. The winters in Brooklyn. What, 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 uh, yeah, that was an EP. Yeah, I that was an EP you I was did. Out here. Yeah, uh, somebody brought your music to him. Oh, my daughter, matter of fact. My daughter, uh, we do a playlist called Callaway Curated. And she, she lines up music and names, and we go through music. You was one of the names she lined up uh, a while back. So, so Tory Lanez um, actually responded to Joyner Lucas, Felly. And um, we're going to, what is this one called? Well, uh, it says here, Liddy Again Freestyle. Liddy Again. So we got real creative with the title. Um, <laughs> and here it goes. So we heard Jonah Lucas. And it goes on. Kill a pussy nigga with his pantyhose on. The gun is equipped for whatever. Shit is easy, man. Tory Lanez, Liddy crazy, Again. I'm, I'm really, I'm really. You heard Jonah Lucas. You heard Tory Lanez. We got Felly in here celebrating his new album. It's called Surf Trap. Spell his name right, F-E-L-L-Y. You can follow on social media at Felly. Bong, just like that. Just like that. What do you think, dude? If you you don't know either one of them, you're just a rap fan, and you and I are hanging out in my in my grandmother's basement. Uh, you smoke, you drink. What do you do? Well, you drink. Um, you drink. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. I I do a little bit of both. I don't do like hard drugs or nothing. God uh, bless you. God bless you, Felly, for not putting that poison in your brain. And I keep even with these two, I keep them I keep them moderate. Whoa. Okay, cool. All right, we got breaking news, OQ. Breaking news on Sway in the Morning. Well, after <laughs> wow. hearing both records <laughs> wow. from Jorna Lucas and Tory Lanez, it appears that they have linked up on Instagram Live. Yes, and have shared screens. They're actually speaking to each other. And the visual I'm looking at before I press play is both of them laughing, embracing. Celebrating even. No, absolutely, man. It's just two gladiators in the ring. It ain't nothing wrong with that, man. They just exercising their skill set. Right. They're both uh, winning here. They're Friendly both winning at the end of the yeah. day, but who you think got the edge just on that particular round? Felly. On that particular one, I gotta take Tori. Tori oh. Lane. Why twist? Why is that? Three reasons why. All right, because like Joiner Joiner did Joiner did his thing with like like mathematically, if you want to like check off like the points and stuff, like yeah, he won. Popular, I don't know. I'm not gonna. I don't know how to make that comparison. Yeah. But it, it's to me how you feel, and so Tori gives you that that vibe. Like I, I wasn't even really listening to every bar of either song. It's uh -huh. too much. They give me too much either way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, I use over so much. So yeah. much. Talk, yeah. It's yeah. like okay, but how did I feel? Like I, I had more. Sauce on the Tory one. So. You like the Tory one. It made me feel. It made me feel better. You know. Okay, I like that. Let's go to uh, South Carolina. Mm. We got Mike on the line. Which one you like better, Tory or Joiner? Go ahead, Mike. Oh, the little nigga Joiner Lucas was eating that nigga. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> like, no. like I, don't, I ain't even really listened to this nigga before, man. But I'm definitely about to pull this shit up. Okay. That boy going hard, man. He went hard, Mike. You a citizen, man. Swing in the morning, homie. We gonna take him to Florida, Tiffany. What do you think? Tippy. I think Joyner Lucas went in. Joyner Lucas, so you're gonna give it to Joyner, right? Yeah. He's okay. supposed to win. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, that's true. <laughs> that's what he does. Like Tory sings and stuff a lot, and it's like he Tory wrapped his ass up. You got to give him some love for that. Yeah. Well, you know Tory. Tory sound like he was spazzing out. Uh huh. Everybody's spazzing out. <laughs> yeah. So, nah, he was spazzing out like he his feelings were hurt. He was just spazzing out. Oh, I guess. Okay, you. all right. Okay, that's the feeling maybe you felt. You know, Felly. All right, yeah. uh, Star is in Louisiana. Good morning, Star. Star. Hey, morning, you guys. Hey, Sway, Heather B., Tracy. Yo, what up, fam? Happy holidays. Good. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Hey, I'm a big, I'm, a, I'm an old hip-hop head. Uh, to answer your question, I was going to go with Joyner on that, but I was calm because uh, Felly reminds me of back in the day. You know, everybody don't rap like they should tell a story, you know. Yeah, and when I listened to Philly, I really dug his probation joint. But uh, it reminded me of, like, Illmatic when he was in, in, in Scarface. Damn. When they would 
when they tell a story, you, it's like the words that he uses, you feel like you're, like you're right there. You can hear the grimy streets and, and the people that are around them. And, and it's it's the the old school hip hop that we used to listen to, not this Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang that you hear nowadays, you know? Mm-hmm. And, uh, did, did yeah, I'm a Felly fan. You a Felly fan? He compared Thanks, you man. to. Did he say Scarface? He said Illmatic and Scarface. Scarface. Yeah, Scarface. Yeah. You know Expect yeah, the unexpected. <laughs> Face mob. I know you talk. Yeah, yeah, to tell a great story. One of I'll my favorite it. songs is "Never Seen a Man Cry," <laughs> um, by Face Mob because of the way he tells his stories. That's a big compliment. Yeah, thank um, you, bro. I really appreciate that. I I didn't expect to hear that, but thank you. You you got a love for the history of hip hop? Did Did you do your knowledge? Or you I do. Just, yeah, yeah. yeah. I. Uh, I've recently, I mean, yeah, I like did my knowledge through just listening, but uh, that Netflix shit is fire. Uh huh. The hip hop. I've been really enjoying yep. that. Uh huh. And um, yeah, in school and stuff, like we we made sure we covered all the bases. Okay. Yeah. You had a uh, hip hop class in school. Yeah. Hmm. What was it, it called? It was called hip hop history. Oh. It was hella cheesy though. Yeah, why well, just? Because like the kids would like teach the like. Cause the dude was like this nerdy white dude, and it was like, that's not who should be teaching me hip hop history. Uh-huh. I also took like black music too. That was by a black dude who showed us like slave songs and other stuff. That was like, that felt rich in culture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the hip hop history one was just kind of like quizzical. A real surface, <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But it was cool to like listen and watch documentaries and stuff. But. Mm-hmm. Um, surf trap is that uh, a term that? you came up with or that was a is that is that a, a category all to itself um i was with ben jane in the studio who he produced new freezer and one of his homies because we were making beats and i was brought into that session as like a guitar player and i was like i don't even really play guitar but cool y'all want me to play guitar and i just kind of fuck with the whammy bar mm-hmm. and like beautiful chords mm-hmm. and they obviously on their trap tip um and uh, we we blended really well because it was like this guttery, like bass heavy stuff that goes hard, but with beautiful chords and mm-hmm. colors. Um, and so one of his homies was like half asleep. He was like, it's like surf trap. And I was like, whoa, that's hard. <laughs> and I was just like, that shit sounds cool. And so I kind of, you know, meditated on that for a minute and made an album in Brooklyn with these other kids in like my backyard in Brooklyn who I met randomly and we we just kind of incorporated those two those two worlds mm-hmm. and, and created a project. So it's kind of like a an idea. I don't surf or trap. So <laughs> but I like both worlds. But so. you like both worlds. Yeah. Wow. You don't surf or trap. Damn, I I could have swore you were trapping. You know? <laughs> the surfing thing never crossed my mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? But the trapping thing, you got that look kid. I was, you know. Um all right, so we're going to um play a song called Murder. Um, what what is the meaning behind that <clears throat> title? Um, I think we made this when like, obviously this happens like every week now, but there was like some shooting and, mm-hmm. um, and it goes murder ain't nobody safe around here, murder holla if you ain't got fear, so it's like sort of like a yeah, this shit's fucked up. Obviously it's fucked mm-hmm. up, but um, like we're I just like I don't like the mood people get in after like tragic events because. It's just like dulling and it doesn't do any good. Like, yeah, obviously you have to pay respect to what happened and you need to, you know, lament a little bit. But, you know, it's our, it's our job to live up. And, and if negativity is going to go that hard, you got to come that hard with positivity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so that was sort of like the idea and the feel behind it. And then the bars are just kind of, you know, spazzing. 888-742-3345. You want to talk with Felly, give us a call. Sway in the morning. Mm. Ain't nobody safe around here. Sway in the morning, save four five. Search Trap is the name of the album. Felly's here with us right now. Yes, sir. 888-742-3345. Felly, where'd your name come from? Facts. Uh, my name's Chris Fellner. And um, oh, okay. my brother, my older brother, his buddies used to call him Felly. So I stole that from him. That's cute. Like a little thievery is good. Like a little brother would, you know? <laughs> you know, he's very observant. I like that about mm-hmm. you. You know, some drunk kid was in the studio woke up to say man that's like surf that's like trap mm, i'm gonna call it surf trap meditating you know, everything like everything put it. in front of you is is for you it's for yes, you for right and then his brother they used to call somebody failure mm, yeah 
take that shit too. Mm-hmm. You know, and that it's and a that, scrapbook. That's a scrapbook. I ain't mad at that. The album is great. It's definitely a different sound uh, signature you. to yourself. Um, but you can hear your evolution if you go back to some of your early music to now. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can definitely hear how you've grown as a, a musician. What is your ultimate goal as a musician? You think is this a lifetime thing? Yeah, or? no, yeah. I'll be doing this for life. For I life. Hope, I hope to be touring when I'm like seventy. Honestly, um, <laughs> the goal is like it changes every day. This mm-hmm. this was the goal. Like I told my boys when we were coming here, they're like, I'm like, this is the landmark. Like I've been thinking about Sway for. Eight ten years, I'm like oh, wow. that yeah. shit. Like has always been like, holy shit! What do we, when we get up on sway, and then now it's like, okay, what's next? And it was originally like sell out Toad's place, uh-huh. and then I did that three four times in one year, and I was just like, uh, what's next? So it, it's it's always been arenas though. I want to play. Oh, I want to play arenas. I just want to. I just want to share my music and my soul, with people as many people as possible, because it feels better. Because, you know. It's it's a reciprocal thing. So if I can get that many people, then I can feel like I have some purpose and value as a person. I like that, Pally, yeah. man. Are you good with celebrating those wins? Because a lot of no. times, yeah, because yeah. you 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 see the destination, you get there, and then instantly it's. And that I hate what's saying next. that too. Like uh-huh. that shit depressing to say. Like when people pull up and meet and greets, like how's it feel? Like you did all this. It's like I don't feel it, but like. And that sounded hella sad because I lost my voice too. <laughs> right, right at that moment. Yeah. That so was like, very dramatic, Shelly. No, no, no. Yeah, do some dramatic shit. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not. I, I feel it sometimes, but like it, it just goes away so quick, and then the next thing is like in front of you. You've gone on vacation yet? Uh, yeah. I took my chick to Topanga. <laughs> Topanga Canyon. <laughs> Topanga Canyon Road. No, I literally did. But um, yeah, no. Took her to Tarzana. <laughs> go to, I've been to Jamaica a bunch of times. Uh. I try to I try to do that. My manager always is like, you know, you got some money now, just go, just go. Yeah. I'm like, I, I I don't really like going though, cause I unless I could bring my shit and like cook up. Like, mm-hmm. I'm really looking forward to after tour. I want to go somewhere in the mountains and kind of be by myself and not hear so many thoughts, mm-hmm. and then just like play with sounds. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, oh man, and just Going listen, out. you know. Yeah. What I could give to go back to them days. Why can't you? Uh man, I got a child and uh and a lot of dependents. You got a child, Felly? You built the whole world. No. Yeah. Okay. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, damn. All right, Mike Hughes. <laughs> right now, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, I'm yeah. not ready yet. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even take care of myself. So Hey Felly, I really liked your music. Uh it's very Thanks, musical. Man. I have a question for you. I have a family friend uh who's in high school right now and he's a dope MC. His name is RJ. Shout out to RJ. Um, and he currently just visited USC's music program over the weekend, mm. and so I was out there with him, and so we had a big debate on if he should go to USC for uh, for music school, sorry, for music school or not. What would you suggest to someone like RJ as they're trying to pursue their music career? Does going to a school like USC help? Um, does it help further your career, or is it needed? It definitely helps, but you need you need money and backing. So if they're mm. if they're giving that, then then hell yeah. Um, the school itself, I mean, it, it taught me a lot of things, but I learned most of it just by doing it. But the biggest thing is meeting the people. It's like there's a lot of dope people there with, like, dope families and shit. And, like... Connections. Connections and all mm-hmm. sorts of stuff. Like, I got a I got a record on my album cleared, a sample cleared, um, because I knew my homie's dad was the... One of the writers? No, oh, the president of the label that had the artist. He was some, uh, it was a Latin artist. And I just like called him and I was like, yo, I have like two weeks to do this. Can you help me out? He did it for like the low and just was like very loving. And, uh, wow. and I was like, that's, that's, that's why you go to these places is to, you know, connect with people like that. Thank oh, you for having time. my back. That's exactly why I told him he should go there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you just yeah. used Philly right there. All right, Eric's on the line <laughs> you from Cleveland. Money, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, good, good morning. You in Cleveland. How you doing? You're... I'm good. How are you guys doing? Great. Say hello to Philly. Mm-hmm. Ask your question real quick. What's up, Philly? I just want to say shout out to you guys and 2273 for everything you guys do. Your music has changed my life. Thank, Thank you, you so bro. much. That's love. Thank you. Bye. I'll see you in Cleveland and Columbus. What do you say? I'll see you in Cleveland and Columbus. Oh, you're nice. coming to both shows. Hell yeah. Okay, Cleveland cool. is the That's reason. Love. You got the Surf Trap album? That's love. Oh, yeah. I got the merch. I got the album. Everything. Well, okay. What's your favorite song on the album? 
I was telling him I wanted to play Dying to Tell You, and then Felly overruled me. What am I to do, man? <laughs> what am I to do? Okay, what am I to do? That's All a good one, too. That's a good one, too. All right. Uh, that's th- the sample one. That's the one you got clear? Yeah, we got that shit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that. that's good. Okay, hey, thank you, man. You're thank a citizen, you, Eric. I appreciate Let's you. Let's in the morning, homie. Hey, Felly, it's your first time on the show for first time as we do this thing called... Go ahead and reach in. Dig deep, dig deep. <laughs> Put your hands into Sway's sack. That sounds gross. <laughs> Wait a year for this one, Felly. Sway's mystery <laughs> sack on Shade 45. Damn, gotta, break that down for him, Heather B. All right, I got you, Felly. You're going to dig Please. into Sway's sack three times. You're going to pull out a question one Whoa. at a time, read Whoa. it out loud, oh. dig deep, dig deep, and okay. you have to answer honestly. Good luck, Felly. Good luck. Put your bare hand in there. Yeah, this one. Yikes. Take it easy, Sway. Yo, man. It's soft skin. <laughs> If you had to clone only one part of your body, which would you choose and why? Um, my hair, because the girls love my hair. There it is. That's simple. They love that, right? And I don't wash it. No, what do you mean you don't wash it? <laughs> no, nah, I don't shampoo it. They always, they always ask you that, back right? Back then when I did put all that product and shit in my hair, I had the stupid haircut. And then I said, fuck it. No. Just a little sunshine, you know? And a you do wash it, though, right? I shower every day, yeah. Twice oh, okay, a day okay. sometimes, yeah. yeah. You just don't comb it. I don't comb it or uh, throw like a bunch of shit, like globs. I used to throw globs of shit in it. I do that every now and then. Uh huh. It's clean. It's good. But all right. So you go to, hair, when yeah. you go to church or something, do you brush it or not? No. No. Okay, great. I my sister had her wedding and she was she was mad at me, and she tried to make me tame it, and I was like bitter because like I <laughs> I did this like half-ass taming job and I was like, you see how I look right now, right? And I'm like, I'm doing this for you, but I'm not happy about it. Oh man, I respect that, Philly. What's your favorite and least favorite thing about your generation? Um, least favorite is um, I feel like we just like do shit to just be like, yeah, and it's yeah. just that shit depressing. Yeah, it's yeah. like all right, we just like even after the shows, we kill a show and then we all get in the van and we all go like this. Put your phones up and look yeah. for girls or look at other people's lives. Oh. This person did this and and that's cool, but like it's not that cool because we're not. You know, mm-hmm. looking up. Mm-hmm. Um, favorite thing, we just had so much uh, accessibility this year. We could do so much. You get, get samples cleared in two weeks, baby. Yeah. Come on, baby. man. Yeah. Round of applause for way. that. We can get places. We can, we can make, make, make some big moves. You know. Last one, last one. Fellies hanging out. Surf Trap is the album. What would your most recent ex say is your best and worst quality? <laughs> uh, worst would be communication. Um... I'm not too good at the phone sometimes, sometimes by choice. Um, <laughs> and the best quality, um, uh, I'm pretty comforting and loving. <laughs> pretty comforting and loving? <laughs> All right, here we go, <laughs> man. <laughs> Felly's here. The, song, the album is called Surf Trap. He just did the mystery sack. You been mystery no- sack. That's what we call it. <laughs> Felly, you've been tuned in to the show. Obviously, you a citizen. That's way in the morning. You know you know what we do when we bring MCs up to this show, man. But we do, Sway. I don't care if you got a network. Doesn't matter to me if you don't comb your hair. Uh, none of that matters to me if you want to sit in the mountain and just be silent and <clears> just, <throat> you know, fumble with toys and make noises. That doesn't matter. What matters when you come up here, if you got bars or not. Bars. But you got to up here wanting to drop a beat on them. Sway in the morning. Felly is here. Shade 4-5. Drop the beat. He's spinning something. Okay, damn, man. Wait, my wait, intro was fucking incredible. Guess DJ fucked it up. Hey. Yeah, all right, all right. No, we're going to do that, that again. Up. Do that again. Do it up, Felly. I'm oh, going to fuck this up for you, dog. I'm sorry, man. Straight out of Connecticut. Uh huh. <laughs> Peace, Connecticut. I understand me, young Fell. You got the EP, right? Yeah. Winners in Brooklyn. You know about that EP, right? Yeah. Surf Trap. That's the new drip right now. In stores now. Make sure you pick it up. Drip, drip. Do we got a hyena up in here? Hyena. Wonder, drop a beat on them. Uh. Yeah. Turn the beat up, y'all. This shit feel good. Uh uh-uh. uh. Hear me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Let it rock, let it rock, uh. Yeah. Don't stop, don't Swing stop. Sway the morning, yeah. shade 4 5. Yeah, uh, keep it stretching. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh. 
Young fell boy, I can't take no L And I got cold flows and a story to tell I got badass bitches coming down from Brazil With the outfits like they got it from Shell That shit real, I'm on the green like Johnny Manziel I do 30 plus days vacating the hills Semi truck couldn't even take the weight off my heels Voice gone like the split from the fire of hell They know me well, now these souls wanna go kiss and tell I Told my homie get well, I say homie get well I paint all my shit till, so they know that it's real They see me when you see me, but the soul ain't for sale That shit real uh, big bodies what I whip mm. Hips leaning like a gimp Repeating like a nymph Told my agent I need 40 more Before I show a wrinkle on my face Turn me down and get speakers in your face I spoke this way shit into existence I can tell the truth But ain't expect no one to listen I pay the difference Ain't no difference when you get them digits Bad move All regretting all your bad decisions Hey, I heard pivot when they told me keep going I heard get it when they started ignoring I'ma reap it and sow it I'ma peep all the people Who think they deep in my coat pockets And cut them out the picture Till they end up with no profits uh, No ego boy, I'm so so godless, I'm so honest, it's thanks to our father, yeah mm. My skin color like I can't believe it's not butter I'm in the ass, I wanna eat it like the last supper Then trash the rubber, then burn rubber Them boys think they tough, don't make me show them my muscles Beat them knuckle to knuckle They deep in the struggle, they still ain't seen shit Rappers stick, they weak cuts, I bring them to my steam strips uh. Sweet Jesus, I leave in three pieces uh. We in the morning, no Kelly and Regis Just a couple mics, motherfucking plug for a reason I hit stage, uncover my demons Cause this my season, hold up, yeah Got a story to tell, it's Young Fell. Mm -hmm. What's the story to tell, it's Young uh, Fell? Keep going. Uh, keep going, Young yeah. Fell. Sway in the morning. Okay, Let's do it, baby. okay, on. eggnog. Uh -huh. Yeah, story don't tell nobody. Head was cloudy, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Look where I started, now I'm catching up to everybody. Uh, riding fucking shoddy, I ain't tell nobody. Hey, mm. hey, six strings, hollow body, in the pussy like probably. Uh, mm. squad walking like a zombie, rolling buzz up like Kylie. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. Mm. But I can't complain, I'm living life, rest of Aunt Bourdain. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I can't, can't complain, I'm living life, rest of Aunt Bourdain. That's yeah. my homie, yeah. hey. And y'all motherfuckers should be ashamed. Think I never ever come up on Sway and I'll leave the beach stained. Ah, young Phil got a story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. You understand me? Scared to rap. Scared to come up here, Felly. You understand? They don't come up here because they're scared they're going to have to rap. Mm. And you got young Fell up here spitting bars, telling you his skin color. He can't believe it ain't butter. <laughs> Want to eat that ass like, uh, like it's the last supper. supper. Come on, oh, he's a freak, boy. damn it. Come on. <laughs> Felly the nympho. He told last you he's a nympho. Booty. You say you hear the kind of Last girls, see big booty. body girls with big hips and whatever, whatever he said. Gimp, hip, limp, gimp, limp. Limp, gimp, limp. <laughs> you a freaky dude, Felly, man, but you know what? You a young hyena. Give him a big round of applause, man. Came up here, swagged on that classic beat. Yeah. Surfed on it. I appreciate it. Thank you, I appreciate Ray. it because you bout it. You got a love for this. You passionate about it. I can hear it in your conversation. Good vibes. That's all we care about. I was, I, I, you say scared. I, I, this shit been nerve wracking for years. <laughs> okay. But like, you got to do this. It's like for the culture. They were like, they were like, are you going to go on Sway? And I was like, I don't know. Like, I kind of want to do this guitar shit. I don't even know if I'm a rapper. Like, they're going to judge me. They're going to be, I'm going to be scared in there. But no, you, you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. And here's the, the the misconception about what happens up here. People so scared to come up here. I don't force folks to rap. If you want to do it, if it's in your heart to do it, come on and spit it. But if you're going to spit it, spit it real. Mm -hmm. Don't shit on it like it's opportunity. But if a person doesn't want to rap when they come here, I don't care. I'm not going to, you know, man, I don't heard the legends. You're the only one doing that. Yeah. Or like one of the few. Really? Well, I mean, most shit, you just talk. Yeah. It's easy to talk. Yeah. I wasn't worried about that part. Yeah. But the rapping part is like it's for us, for hip hop as a culture, whether folks want to claim it or not, they utilize it to get to where they want to go. But that was what separates the genre from other genres. That's what made uh, it was always about being um, individual, always about being innovative and unique. And that's what we do in this culture that makes us separate from other cultures. So I appreciate you upholding tradition. And coming up here and having you, fun, bro. man. This shit is fun, brother. I love Come you, on, Sway. Man. I love Thank you too, you, Belly. I love you, man. Be, I, love I you want too. you to go off and be great and take your crew with you, man. Just whenever somebody trying to bully 
Felly, man. Y'all got to step Jump up, in. man. Come Yo, on, Slater, man. Yo, Slay, the homie over there got on a Callaway shirt. He got a he Callaway should, shirt. He got a Callaway got shirt on. That's my last name, kid. I know. He ready for his golf game. I know that. Yeah, yeah, man. Come on. Slay Callaway. I got customized Shit, clubs. <laughs> Yeah, thank drip, you, drip. man. Go through dripping, Sway. No, they got my back. There ain't enough people hating on me these days, so. Okay, good. I, I welcome them. Man, enjoy yourself. You yeah. know, haters are just few. People who hate are usually folks who are unhappy with their progress, and they see you and you're a reminder of it. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. Ooh, I get hate too, fellas. Damn, that's deep. Every now and then, once every 10 years, somebody hates on me. Yeah. I, you know what happens. Uh, thank you for coming through. Continue success. Surf Trap thank is you, the man. name of the album. Good job, Appreciate man. Appreciate you. Thank Absolutely. You, I enjoyed the conversation yeah, too. Man. Hell yeah. All thank right. you all. Absolutely. Up next, man, we got Master Aces up here. He got a new album he's going to yeah. be talking about. It's called <laughs> A Brooklyn Story, and he's here with Marco Polo. Marco. Uh, okay, that's up next. You want to talk to Master Ace, 888-742-3345. And here's Maple off of Surf Trap, Felly, mm-hmm. Sway in the Morning, Shade 4 5. Da, 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 da.